Hello everyone. Today I bring you things. Well, not really. Today I bring you Tinkercad. Because we're gonna parametrically design some stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. I probably just dox myself, but who the fuck cares? Wheel. Uh, we're gonna go to code blocks. <laughs> Do you like my no you card? No you card is best card. No you. Okay, resetting it did not work. Shit. Stretch the screen or fit the screen? Fit the screen. Oh nice, it broke it broke this now. How wonderful. Yeah, that's I'll fix that later. Anyway. Uh, let me move some crap on my desk here so I can actually use my mouse properly. Shit. I really need to clean up here. Let's get the, the measuring thing. I should probably hook up my camera because we are gonna take some measurements and stuff like that. Um, camera. Okay. If I'm l I'm lucky now, I'm gonna have to restart OBS. Perfect. There you go. Eh. Yeah, sure. So we're gonna use this. You've probably seen this. I have no idea what it's called. Um, it allows you to measure. Pardon my English. <laughs> and yes, we will create a new code block. Because, quite frankly, I find it easier to, as a programmer, I find it easier to modify a single variable and have it instantly apply to all places where I have told it to apply. It's basically parametric. So, let's, uh, let me move some of the solder junk to the side here. Got my mouse pad. So, welcome to Code Blocks. And actually, I will put on some music. Instead of some random documentaries, I can actually, like, think. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's open new piping. Is that? Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah. Don't touch your face after you have a bunch of solder glitter on your finger. That's probably not the best. Oh well, I survived. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. There we go. Music. So, how do we craft this case? 
Well, let's start with some box, I guess. Actually, let's start with uh, what we think we need, some variables. So we're going to have, uh, let's, let's define some terminologies. What I'm thinking is a two cell 18650 case with the platform either, I mean, most possibly it will be butted up like that without a millimeter space or something between it, maybe two millimeter. I think that's the best because um, the case is going to be square. So if I do it like this, that means there's going to be padding for the battery on each side there. However, not here. Mm -hmm. The other option is to take the platform and put it on its side. Instead of having like that, I turn it to the side like that. And then you have to imagine that there's another board here with a bit of thickness, which I can't really show. Oh well, yeah, oof. And yeah, basically have the ESP centered, and then board, board. Yeah, I mean, it's either this or that. So, um, with that in mind, let's define some uh, terminologies and some axes, more specifically. Specifically, what are forward? Uh, we can definitely say that this is up. So, the batter on the bottom and the platform on top. But then there's the question, what's left, right, and what's forward, back? It's kind of symmetrical, but I still need to define it because of the antenna. Um, Tricky. I'll just make the antenna forward, I guess. And reset button left. And then, well, up is up in this configuration. So, a line like that, kind of. Forward, right, left, up, down. I mean, it all depends on where I put the exit for the probes, so... We shall see. Anyway, with that, let's define our width. Let's define a height. Mm, depth, thickness. depth. So, we have those. Actually, height is going to be a compound variable. It's going to rely on different things.
So we have, let's just split things out here and do stuff separately for the battery. I mean, we know this is going to be the dimensions of an 18650. However, by baking it into these variables, it allows us to have it be perfectly parametric. I mean, basically, the only things you don't need to bake into variables are divides and multiples by two. However, offsets, you should very much bake into variables. Uh, battery, let's see here. Height width. Depth. So I guess I'll rename these to platform. Can't okay, there you go. Wait, are there comments? Oh, there are. Hey, nice. <coughs> Can we like separate them out? Wait, 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 wait. I have a stupid idea. Can I set a variable to a vector? I can't. That's a bit oof. No. So yes, um, let's think, let's use the four brain cells I have. So battery input there. Okay. Okay, that's not what I wanted. The thing is, you can't clone variables and then rename them. I think. Let's check. Yeah, it's it's the same here. So if I rename platform height, it's going to also rename that one platform height. It's a bit of a weird thing. Cat here really gets everywhere. Wow. Stuck between my teeth. What the fuck? How oh, even? Uh, let's compound the... Uh... Ooh, wait. Because they're... These are gonna be added. Uh, their, he their height is gonna be added together. However, there's gonna be a... Um... Uh, a gap between them. So, platform battery height gap.
And if you think I'm being overly verbal with these names, really? You think there's such a thing as overly verbal in programming? Or, well, block assembly, I guess. The thing is, with, with wearable, wearable names, sure, one, two, and three, and four letter variable names are really convenient because they're fast to change, fast to actually get what you're thinking onto the screen. However, and many people have said this, and you've probably heard this many times, but it's so true. It's just, yeah, it's just so true that if you use a variable like func, like a func, uh, like a function pointer to uh, whatever's something, let's say it has, a, again, a depth variable and you because you want to stick to the small names you do fnc ptr vdt i mean yes you can technically read that if you're in that mindset already but if you're just jumping into the code again you're going to be like what the hell is vdt so and that's where you lose your time, is when you get back to things. For example, for example, can I like open new tab? No. Can I open? Will this overwrites? Yeah, look at this. This is a simple design. And here's the variables I ended up using for it. One compound variable. Uh, actually, actually, these are helpers, yeah. But if I'd taken some of these and made them very short, like instead of width, height, and depth, just do x, y, z, And like simple things like that just to reduce it. Yes, it does save space. But when you compress things, and this is true for humans as well, as well as programs, when you compress things, sure, they take smaller space, but you have to put more time into figuring out what the original message was. And that's the trade-off of storage and time. It's, it's very well documented, and, and it goes back, well, very early in the internet days and all that stuff. For example, GIFs are a very prominent case of the trade-off of width and time, especially in the early, in the early days when they used GIFs. Uh, you would usually have them as full you, you would have uh, you would have the picture and then you would have what actually I have no idea what I'm talking about but I know that GIFs uh, have changed how they're used throughout time and in the beginning they were mostly just the full frame per frame I think but uh, and that was useful because Sure, it might take a bit of time to download and display it back in the, those days, if it's big. But if you have the full... Well, if you have a... Well, it is compressed, but it's only a little compressed back in those days. So... It would be easier to display it at a reasonable frame rate. And the reasonable frame rate back in those days was like 5 FPS. 10 FPS for web. Anyway, let me just show you this design. There you go. It's a phone case. 
and you lost the game. I'm sorry. But yeah. Just a little lesson of variable length, names, whatever, things. Uh, I guess Spectacular Bruticus is the one? Yeah. What a, what a spectacular name. Spectacular Bruticus. Anyway, um, so here we're going to have compound heights. Compound width up, 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 and up. So now we need to set these according to these. Um, hopefully, I can do some. Uh, Wait, no, really? Okay, there's a function thing here. Do we have... God damn it. There's no max or min? Are you, are you joking? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, um. God damn it! Really? There's no max and there's no min. I don't want to write my own inline thing for that in case it actually does. Uh, There's no max, there's no min. There's no if. How the fuckle? Is there a compare? Okay. Um, I can't do max at all. Okay.
The thing is, I need some sort of compare. Or let's just assume that the user inputs same variables. Okay? Because the only user is gonna be me and I'm gonna be sort of sane. Actually who knows? Uh, what unit is this going to be in? Let's just do millimeters. Well, it's going to be two cells, so... Actually... Let's redefine this as diameter. And uh, let's just have that be the amount of batteries we have. So we have an 18650 and two of them. Let's measure the platform height, roughly. Let's add about that much. We'll say 28 millimeters. Like that's 26, I guess. And the depth is going to be the longest part, which is the back over there to the antenna. Which we will say is 35. Back the height gap, 2 millimeters. Now the compound height can actually be some math, which is going to be battery height plus more math. Is this a one another? Who cares? Battery height plus uh platform height plus platform battery height gap
Oh wait, is it gonna... Is it gonna do it anyway? Huh. Oh well. So yes, the width of the entire thing. Guess I'll just set that directly to platform width for now. Now uh, the depth is gonna be two 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 Maybe set our variables up. So, with that in mind, let's start the actual thing. So, first of all, we're going to want a box to contain all of this in. And we're gonna set the width to the, to the compound width, the height to the compound height, and the depth to the length, I guess. Um, yo. Okay. This does not look right. Ah. Yes. Platform width. There you go. That's better. Ish. Huh. So why does it look so tall? I'm gonna be very careful right now. Yeah, that's a 650, all right. Uh, let me just create a cylinder real quick. Like move that. Radius, okay. So divide by two. 
for a battery diameter. Height is That's a eighteen six fifty. Um no. The proportions are way off. It's too tall. Can't be sixty five. Is this going to be a wait? Wait, six point five centimeters. So it's so technically it's sixty five point zero. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yes, this looks a lot more like these proportions that we prototyped. At least this wise. It's the same kind of square. It's the same kind of ratio between top and side. For that, okay. So I saw that. Now, what would six hundred fifty millimeters be? Sixty-five centimeters. Yes, that makes more sense. Yeah, I don't really have a 65 cent middle of battery. <laughs> uh, actually, we can keep that. However, we should it? I'll recreate it later. Anyway, this cube here defines the empty space. In effect, it, it kind of does this. It defines the empty space around our components. So now, I'm going to put in er, first of all, let's just Make that like three millimeters because wiring. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to have to do is Invert it, maybe? Yeah, this is going to be blank. And that's just going to return the same. Yeah. And this is just going to be blank. Yeah. Just testing. Just testing. Um, so the question now is, do I want to define it as solid and then invert it? Or do I want it to define it as a void and then put stuff and then remove stuff from the void? Actually, to remove stuff from this void, it has to be positive. So we'll have to do this. Good. 
So, where was where was I? Yes, this has to be inverted so that we then can sneak in the cylinders and remove that from this solid and then invert this solid so that it becomes an well, the actual representation of the void in the uh, well, well, the airspace in there. And then we combine, can combine that with a final box overlapping everything, just like my phone case. And that should be it. So, guess I have to do some counting here in the loop. At least there's loops. From one to that we amount. Count with I. For each spawn a cylinder. Which will remove. Again, we will divide this here by two. Well, I should. Yeah, that sometimes happens. Height is battery height. Sides, just make that. And create a new variable if you want. Called resolution, I guess. Sign that. Now moving these will be a bit weird because I'll have to define a reference. Basically, I need to remove, I, I need to offset either forward or backward by half the amount of batteries and then count in one direction with all the amount of batteries. So, battery amount divided by two, here we go. Let's just see what this does. Absolutely not. Because... Yeah, there it is. It's in there. It's in there. Now, let's, let's, yeah, let's move to these. And maybe, I may do it in two steps, because, okay. So let's go negative something. So, we want to go negative battery amounts divided by 2 multiplied by the diameter. That should move it off to one side. Well, both of them. Oh, and that's the wrong axis. Well, at least we can see it now. How about the y axis?
Okay. Um, two batteries. Wait, is it because I need to divide all of this by two? Oh, check. This is probably not correct, but I'm just testing. Okay. Wait, what? What the hell? I'm just going to restart that. This is what I had before. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Ah. Hmm. <sighs>
<laughs> That's odd. Odd indeed. Is this like a simple thing where I just need to offset back by like half? What happens at one in that case? Yeah, I, um, yeah, it looks like I need to go back by a half. Should we really pick up the battery before it rolls under somewhere and creates fire and shit, it's gone. Where the fuck is the battery? Battery, where are you? Yeah, okay, found it. Don't let your 18650s run away, they might start fires. Like many other things in life. So, um... What if I just put in a random 15 there? Oh, it does go in that direction, so... That's nice, that means I can condense it a bit, so that means... I think it was just a half better diameter, right? By two... It's centered. Okay. Let's see what happens when we put in two batteries. Yeah. Still looking good. Perfect. So now I just need to move it, depending on I, again, I could bake it into the single move, but it's probably easier to just do this. Actually. Could bake it in straight here. With a simple plus. So right here is where we're gonna do the per It's gonna start on one. Uh. Let's just see what happens. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Just not do divide by zero then, I guess.
So this is the beginning side, okay. Oh, nice. And that should just offset it more there. So what if I negate it instead? Oh, there you go. Here we go. So instead of poking through this model like this, we can instead uh, create a group and have it be in words. There you go. So the batteries are on the correct like Y axis, which is the forward apparently. Now we need to move them down. By some amount. We're also going to need a variable for later. I guess we can just call it case thickness. Set that to like two millimeters. One. Uh, two. Yeah, two millimeters. Switch that back to two batteries. Nice. Does it work with one battery? Nice. Does it work with 145 batteries? Well, it cut it off on the on the build plate, but yes, it does work. I think. Let's do 10 batteries. Question is they're bigger than eighteen six fifties. Eighteen six fifties are bigger than eighteen six fifties. They are eighteen. Point three. Bastards. Let's just do that. Give them a bit of breathing room. So now we need to move these batteries down, which we can do over here in the Z. And we need to move them by roughly half of uh, roughly half of the. Uh, Compound height? No, uh, platform height, I think. I will move them up, that works too. But as you see, that leaves a gap there, which isn't supposed to be there, and that's because we missed the. Uh, we didn't include the uh, platform battery gap there. So now it should go straight up to the top. There you go. Uh, 
Um, hold on. I need to check something real quick. Uh, first of all, yes. Um, let me just fix this. Convert this real quick. There we go. Um, I'm not sure my. My thing here is going to work correctly. I'm just... This is not what I anticipated. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, um. If I do this, yes. No. This is going to give nothing, I think. Yeah, it's just built it. C. 
So what have I actually defined here? I have to find the negative of it, even though it's the final shape with all sets around it. God damn it. This bottom here, I might as well do. Set up the case thickness properly. Okay, that's nice and all, but I'm having like trouble understanding the uh... operations I'm performing here. Oh. It's weird. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, 
And my parents are calling. Hold on. Oh, of course. I'll be back later, I guess. Like, this is the final shape, but it doesn't have the... ...case thickness. Wow. It seems to have worked. So there's our two battery compartments inside. Just to make it easier to see, I'm going to invert the final, there you go. Okay, that looks better. Now we've got two millimeters on each side. I'm like, how am I going to get the power from the bottom side of the battery? Part of me is just like, oh, I don't know, like a tube alongside somewhere. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes. Um, let's create a box. Let's get our platform in there. Platform height, platform height, yep. Uh, 
and those got placed there because we didn't push them up. It's up, I should say. Which means... We're gonna have to add the height gap the battery height. I think. Not sure. That went off to hell, I guess. Yep, it went off to hell. Okay, so just doing the platform battery height gap aligns it. Two there. And then I'll do platform height. Platform height. As you see, I think we need to add the platform height again. Uh, let's just be lazy. Let's just do that. Multiplying by two, you mean add it in? You mean adding it again? Okay, that looks nice. Now let's play around with this parameter and see what breaks. So let's see what happens. What if we make that that? Yeah, that's broken, definitely. However, I think it will fix it if I just set the. Oh. Apparently not. That gotta be twenty. Oh, really? Really? Uh, yeah, this is acting weird. But that doesn't change any of the... The battery is correct. The compound height Yeah, what the fuck? Batteries are correctly placed. However, oh, 
this is not. So why isn't it? Because that divides it by two. I gotta go soon though, so I just want to get this working. I do not get it. Ah, yes, yes, there we go. A bit of trial error, and there you go. Let's set this to rule three. So there should be. Distance between here is two, distance between here is three. Should be at least. Yeah. There we go. Although it's inverted because, yeah. And now if we is the is the little uh, compartment, and if we go down, we find ourselves in the battery compartment. Oh yeah, this is much easier to do. There you go. Anyway. I wonder if you can like cut. Oh well. Uh, I will go and eat. That was quite a minimal design to be honest. It works. Yeah, I will refine this when I come back later. Goodbye.